Right now, a local stand-up comedian has partnered with Cafe and Then Some to bring a one-of-a-kind comedy show to Greenville. Comedian Amanda Neal joining us right here with uh, Susan Lay Smith from Cafe and Then Some. Welcome. Glad you're here. Woo yes. Glad Thanks to be here. <laughs> First, the, the event itself, um, Wednesday next week, July 26th. Amanda Neal, you're the host. Tell us about I the event. I will be hosting, yes. Uh, I have the opportunity to team up with Cafe and Then Some. Uh, so it's going to be a cool blend of comedy and music. So we're going to do three featuring comedians mm -hmm. um, with a live band uh, so add That's some a little twist. fun little mm. quips to the comedy mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna do so if anybody's in the audience and wants to participate or maybe it's your first time you want to perform um, we will have the opportunity for bucket pools mm. so that just sounds like fun yeah. you never know what's going to happen <laughs> oh. so people can enter if they think they want to be on stage mm -hmm. and maybe they're drawn absolutely okay. yeah bring so it it'll be a good time yeah. it'll be fun <laughs> get your material ready. everything's better with live music oh, you know? for sure yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even if you just dance around a little bit <laughs> susan to be able to have all this fun <laughs> at cafe and then some what do you love about the concept of the show i mean you're doing a lot of new things right about now. We're real excited. We've been in the same place doing the same thing for 40 years. For congratulations, that's awesome. Well, that's, well, congratulations, but sympathy may be the <laughs> <laughs> more appropriate uh, <laughs> sentiment. But we're so excited that Amanda is going to help us branch out a little bit, uh -huh. do something new, do something exciting. And uh, of course, we're always there, but uh, we'd love to have y'all come check out what's new going on. Well, and it's neat, you you know, you've built a life out of comedy. Yeah, yeah. Why is it so important to, to keep the shows fresh, to keep the audiences entertained, just support local comedians? Well, yeah, uh, uh, I think local is the, the key thing. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about farm to table. This is like yes. word to stage. <laughs> yeah. And, and we uh, need like to have fresh. folks word support, stage, yeah. <laughs> support uh, local folks. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's sustainable comedy that way, I'm sure. <laughs> exactly. too. It's sustainable. Um, and then, so as you put on these types of events, the, the experience of going to cafe and then some people who've <laughs> been there yeah. 10 years ago, 20 years right, ago. Right. Like, walk us through that for, for somebody who doesn't know. Oh, well, we uh, do a, a show that's about two hours long. It's uh, skits and song parodies uh, featuring a lot of local content, trying mm -hmm. to poke fun at uh, politicians and stereotypes and yeah. local places, that kind of thing. So uh, the show's at 8. We serve dinner beforehand. If you want to do that, you don't have to. And uh, we're there Thursday through Saturday. What a cool night out. And now as this, uh, you know, this, this new kind of comedy is going to start uh, mm -hmm. yeah. taking Taken over in a big way. Um, where do you gather your material? What, what kinds of, uh, of of jokes do you tell when you're on stage? Oh man, it's purely trauma based. Yo, plenty to get to. I think the best thing about comedy is like if you there's a famous comedian that says uh, if you tell the truth, people will laugh. Mm -hmm. um, so there is like a level of like a lot of truth uh, to comedy, yeah. and I think that's what makes it so relatable. And mm -hmm. and what I love about Cafe and Then Some is they poke fun at all of Greenville. So yeah. it doesn't matter where you're from, you've experienced some form of Greenville, so it's very inclusive. Yeah. Um, my first show, I could not stop laughing. Yeah. I thought it was so fun. I was like, I want to be here. Uh, yeah. So I'm just, I'm so excited to uh, bring this opportunity and, and to meld two worlds, well, three worlds, like the improv improvised comedy and uh, sketch comedy uh, with stand-up comedy and then the music uh, scene so well it just strikes me that our community is really a great place for comedy it, it this is. is a supportive group of people when you see somebody on stage you want them to succeed <laughs> everybody wants each other up and, yeah, you exactly. know so what do you say to somebody who says maybe i'll put my hat in that in that bucket list yeah. come on okay. down yeah. you know yeah. what's the worst could happen <laughs> you know what i mean tomatoes exactly. being no, no. Right. yeah that's a good we should have that <laughs> people will laugh politely that could be a new twist <laughs> Yes, like the the good old days. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want people to know about the event uh, Wednesday, July 26th, or just, you know, the, the state of what's coming in comedy in general? Uh, we welcome anybody, anytime. It's always a good a good thing to laugh. Yep. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> if, if it's something that you've wanted to try, why not? Yeah. Go for it. Try it. This is a great opportunity to put your hat in a bucket pool uh, uh, and, uh, you know, see what, you see what happens. Know. You that is the definition know. of bravery, though. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you know, one time insanity. I did comedy in shorts, and I never felt more brave. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bravest moment of my life. That sounds like You're a bold book. and brave. We appreciate you very much. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Wednesday, July 26th at Cafe and then some starting 8 p.m. Call 232-2287, or you can visit the website to, vis to reserve your table. Cafe and then some located at 101 College Street in Greenville. <laughs>